Oh, hello, all you wonderful people. Long time no see. I had a few minutes to spare because I messed up on appointment times. Um, my son had an appointment at 2, and I had one at 3, so I just gave him mine because I thought I was at the... I got mixed up because I saw 3 o'clock, but that was for mine. So I thought I'll just talk to you guys. And then um, I found this um, thing. Well, people have been talking about it. So I thought, apparently I made an account. I don't remember making an account, but that's here. That's part for the course now. I don't remember a whole bunch of stuff. But um, I made an, appoint, uh, an account with that chat AI. And um, I gave it parameters and told it. Um, ideas that um, I wanted, kind of what I wanted and was looking for. And it actually wrote a book on dementia. And um, so I formatted it and put it on Amazon. It went live today and it's called um, Living with Early Onset Dementia, Understanding, Maintaining and Thriving. And it's a very short read. It's more like a pamphlet. It's about 30 pages long. But it covered a lot of stuff and had good ideas on how to, um, you know, about communication, how to strategize communication and, you know, the do's and don'ts of dealing with somebody with dementia. And basically that there's more kinds than just Alzheimer's. Um it's um, very well done. I mean, uh, it's, I feel like it's geared towards both the person that gets diagnosed because it talks about the things that you need to do to set up once you get the diagnosis about financially getting prepared um, for what's to come and making plans for what's to come. And also... Uh, for caregivers on how to de-escalate, you know, um, situations as far as, um, like, um, getting people to do things that they don't really want to do. <laughs> um, you know, the not arguing, but, um, don't argue, but, uh, redirect and that kind of stuff. And it came out pretty good. I'm really pleased with it. So I'm hoping that it does well. It, I couldn't believe how fast it went live. Um, I just put it on there last night, and this morning it was already live. And um, so I'm hoping it does well, because I tried to use these videos as I still have a lot of pain. I try to use these videos as a way to educate people about dementia. And um, sometimes I don't feel like I do a very good job. And for I know I can tell from my point of view and what I like and don't like, but um, it does a good job of being emotional about it, but also covering the same things that I do. Um, my house of six is about to become my house of two again. Um, two people moved out. Um, Randy is at welding school. And Aiden is going to go get a job in Indiana. He's hoping. He leaves tonight for an interview. It's, and um, we'll see if he gets it. If he goes, the reason he wants to go up there is, be, well, one, he wants to go back to Indiana. But the other one is because um, he can join the union. And if he can join the welders union, he's going to do well. And so... It'll be back to just me and Jesse. And Jesse's school was um, hit by a tornado. Our town was um, a week ago. Let's see, this is Monday. Um, a week ago, this past Friday, my the town we're living in was destroyed by a tornado. A um, F3, and I also met up in town with a F1 or F2. And luckily, they dismissed school at 1.30. And I picked Jesse up from school at 
And by 345, the school no longer existed. It leveled the school and leveled most of the town. Um, I, we're in Wynn, Arkansas, and I know what time it made the news because um, our power went out. They, um, the emergency management people over, took over the towers, the cell towers, so we had no data. We had no way of getting hold of anybody. There was no communication at all to the outside world. Um, there was a lot of people trying to get a hold of us. We were trying to get all of them. We couldn't. Um, they shut down the town. They weren't letting people in the town. Um, it was a mess. We did not have any damage in my house. Um, it came really close, really close. Um, and it was the size of 16 football fields. So um, that's not small. And there's still a lot of destruction. There's still, at this point, we still have a curfew. We can't be out between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. or you go to jail, directly to jail. No questions asked. Um, on, we also, they have opened up the town back up where people from the outside can come in. Um, cause uh, we had to go to, um, Randy was leaving last weekend, uh, the weekend that, that we had the tornado, um, the next day for school. And so we went to the next town over to go over to Walmart to get his stuff. And, um, we got over there and they had the highway closed coming back towards my town. And so we went over there, we did our shop, shopping, and we came over, and the line was long, real long. And they had them in the middle lane, but the uh, power trucks and the heavy machinery was going in the other another lane, if that makes any sense. So I thought, well, they're letting those people go to win, and they're rerouting the other people. So I went over, I just kind of cut over, got in there with them, and I took my license out, and when the cop came over, I just held out the license. I said, I live in Wynn. And he said, go on. And so we finally got home. And then he got on the road to go to school. Um, it's just been weird. Um, nothing looks the same. There's no landmarks. Um, it, it basically wiped the town out. Um, four dead, um, a lot injured, a whole lot of people injured. Um, the Red Cross is still here. The, I don't know if the National Guard is still here or not. FEMA is still here and the man, uh, management, management people are still here, emergency management. Um, they, my cousin used to be one of those emergency management people. <laughs> And so that's why we haven't had data. And that's how I found out that that's why we haven't had data because they overtake the towers so that they can communicate with each other. They had 12 teams on the ground looking for people with um, dogs and things. And um, it was okay. I mean, it was all right. We, I had, we were without power probably two days, maybe. I'm not sure it was even that long, to tell you the truth. But... Um, we're, I think, on the same line as the courthouse, so they had to get the courthouse back, and maybe even the hospital, because we were over by the hospital, but um, it didn't take that long. We got ours back. Some people still don't have power. Um, it's very surreal. It's a very weird situation to be in, and I hope it's a once-in-a-lifetime thing to be in. Um, it's just strange, and I am so glad they dismissed school. Um, I mean, to be there, and two hours later, the school be completely missing. It's gone. They have been out of school since then, and Jesse will go back Friday, the 14th.
it'll be his first full day and they are putting the high school kids there's a junior college in town and they opened up part of that junior college to be the high school and so they're sending the high school kids over to the junior college um, for classes and they he will start friday back to full-time students or full-time class right now and they can even do virtual because people don't have internet um it's just unreal and i had a cousin that snuck into town at 6 a.m um saturday morning friday nights when it hit and we had no form of communication whatsoever with anybody and he was banging on door because he wanted to lay eyes on us because he wanted to make sure we were alive um, he went to my cousin Lucretia's house and then to my house. Um, and so I ordered some supposedly high powered walkie talkies. We'll see if they work or not. But like today, my, I don't have data. I have SOS where the data bars are supposed to be in when I'm in Jonesboro right now and I have regular bars, but, um, mine says SOS, which means I can't use my phone. I can't call on it. Um, I can only call in case of emergency. I can only call emergency personnel. I cannot call anybody else. It won't, it, a call will fail. Um, so I, but we do have our internet back. And so at least I can communicate through there. Um, data came back on for just about a half hour that Friday night, Saturday morning, about 3.30 in the morning because my phone started dinging like crazy. And I knew what time they were, it was all stamped at 7.38, which meant that um, that's when it hit the national news that everybody saw that it was the town I lived in that was hit, that was destroyed. And um, um, they called and left messages and text messages and I got some of them answered before they cut me off the tower and some of them I didn't get answered till days later. So, um, I think the walkie talkies, if we never use them, fine. But if we need them, like today, I can, I wouldn't be able to get all of my cousin and she's my caregiver. You know, like Grisha. And then if we had the walkie talkies, I could still call her on the walkie talkie. So, um, we'll see how that works out. But thanks for listening to me babble. And, um, check out that book if you would. Um, I w I'm hoping to get a little bit, make a little bit of money off of it. We, um, are in a little bit of a bind, frankly. Um, and I can't get monetized on TikTok yet because I got to have 4,000 hours. You guys got to sit around and watch 4,000 hours of my uh, videos. <laughs> we become uh, monetized and also watch the ads. And also I have to put little short videos, which are those TikToks, on there. If I don't put those on every so often, every so many days, then I'm not eligible. So... Um, they keep changing all the rules for everything. But, um, anyway, today's color is, oh, uh, I'm looking around this room that I'm in and there's no green. There's no color, much of a color to this room. But the color is green if you made it all the way to the end with me. Live life to the fullest, live life with no regrets, and we'll see you next time. Bye.